Okay, to continue the lecture on Module 2, we have a air dry clay project that we're going to do today. And that project should consist of creating one, a pinch pot. Now, the objective that I had for this assignment was not for us to go out and purchase uh, the westernized man-made tools designed for working clay, but to use found objects or routine household objects in order to create this project. So the object I used to cut the clay, with, I believe this is uh, used for knitting. It's just the needles attached to a plastic cord here. And I use that to cut the clay <coughs> in order to get a nice clean slice. As I say, there are tools that you can buy in the Western world to work with clay. Uh, everything from a wheel, electronic or manual, to throw the clay on to rotate it. But as we watched in our video, uh, indigenous people make their own tools. They use found objects, sticks, wood, thread, string, rope, whatever is handy to them. Even uh, a broken pot that they may have had, uh, made, maybe they had made it before and it broke. So they use what they have. And so we're going to use what we have found objects to make this, not necessarily the bought tools. And uh, there will be a link or images posted onto your blackboard where you can see what the actual bought tools look like, but we're not using those for this project. So we're going to take this slice of clay and in a very short demonstration, what I'm going to do is create a pinch pot for you so that you can see the process. And this process is similar to one of the processes you saw in the video that we watched, or that you should have watched. Keep it wet with a little water. This is all I'm doing is wet it. I'm working around with it. Just to get it nice and soft, knead it. take mine into a round ball here. You can do this in any shape. It doesn't have to be a round ball to start with. It could just be a square or a block or a cylinder or whatever you choose to work with. And I'm going for somewhat round with this one. Just smack it down and give it a nice flat bottom. And then we're going to put a dimple in it. Now, again, when you're using fond objects or you can just use your hand by putting your thing in there, you could use something else. This is just the back of a screwdriver and get that hole in there. Then you stick your finger down in it. And I'm going to wet my finger. Stick my finger down in there and just start to pinch around the clay. And as I pinch around, I'm enlarging that hole. Expanding the opening and changing the thickness of the sides of the pot. You see right here, we wet our finger and continue to work. Around the pot. 
Now for the interest of time, I'm going to continue to go or take it any higher. What I'm going to do instead is grab, these are the tools that I'm using today, plastic cutlery, knife, fork, spoon. So I'm going to take the spoon and I'm going to put it inside there and begin to smooth on the inside of this pot with a spoon. Keep my spoon nice and wet. And if you notice on this side, you can still see all the fingerprints. And on this side, it's starting to smooth out. crack in here. I'm going to use the spoon to smooth that crack. Now I could take the same wire that I used to cut the clay and I can use that to cut this top to make it even. But I'm going to instead take it flatten the edge in that manner. Okay. So, as you can see, the time and effort, you can smooth that out. But what I'm going to do next is show you how taking this one, I can take the flat edge or even the serrated edge if you wanted to. And you can go across with the serrated edge. And what I'm doing is picking up those uneven portions of the clay that create the bumpy surface from my fingers creating the pot. And then I can turn around with the flat edge and smooth it. Give you another method for smoothing the exterior surface of the pot. Other than putting it on the wheel and spinning it and smoothing those grooves with your hand, you can take that pot and you can work it round and round and smooth those sides in just that manner. So you have that process that you could go through as well. Further, a smaller piece of clay. And we can implement coiling, which is something else you should have seen in the video. How to create coils. So you could create a coil here. And you could use uh, the side of a glass, a rolling pin out of your kitchen, a jar, to roll this flat if you wanted to make it flat. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to just cut it and leave it as it is, use my fingers, make a crude handle here, and another household item you can use in the water. Water and clay by the way combine together to make what we call slip, and slip helps to join two pieces of clay together. So the teeth on the brush kind of grooves the clay while I find the slip. And when we put those two pieces together, they mend in and bond together a little better.
So water is your friend when working with clay. It keeps it pliable, moldable, and usable. Um, as it dries, you may need it to be a certain level of hardness in order to uh, continue to work the project. So you can keep wetting it. You can keep a moist towel on it to keep it at a certain level while it stays fairly firm. The wetter it gets, the softer it gets, and it may slop, be sloppy and fall over and won't hold up for you. But water is something that you're going to want to have handy when you're working with clay in order to keep it malleable. So, in a few minutes we have a little rough food pot here and I stuck a handle on it. You can make it a cup. If I wanted it to be a pitcher, again, we're going to employ the methods of pinch. And I can pull that down and turn that into a little pitcher. And then, again, as I say, continue to work the sides. If I want it really smooth, if I want it rough, if I want it to texturize it, I could go, let's see what else do I have up here, any number of objects that you may have around and put some type of pattern on it if you wanted it to have a pattern. So we could put patterns on it. Um, the assignment will be to create a pinch pot. It doesn't have to be this big. It doesn't have to be this small. But you're, it doesn't even have to be this object. It's just something that you're going to make from the beginning as a pinch pot. You're going to share that object with the class. When we're using air dry clay so that we don't have the necessity of firing and uh, <clears throat> when it dries it should be stable enough that you can actually paint it with either acrylic paint or uh, enamel paint and have it as something that you might want to keep, put on your uh, shelf or mantle and have it out for a display. So I want you to make an object as a pinch pot and that's one of your assignments. And if you don't like it, again, it's just clay. You can always start again.